Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, the ninth generation of Pokemon games, has been out a little over three months now. With its open world feel alongside new Pokemon and overlapping story modes, it's given trainers a whole new way to experience the typical Pokemon adventure. On top of this, Pokemon Scarlet and Violet's engaging story and wealth of post-game activities has given most trainers countless hours of fun. But once you've completed all of these side quests and caught more shinies than you can shake a stick at, you start to run out of things to do in the Paldea region. And this leads us on to today's video. With Pokemon Day on the horizon and the possible announcement of the new DLC heading to Scarlet and Violet very soon, we are going to look at some of the possibilities trainers could expect to see from a new expansion of this rich and vibrant 9th generation Pokemon game. But before we get into today's video, please subscribe to the channel. Remember, you can always unsubscribe later if you'd like to. Area Zero was where the main Scarlet and Violet story came to its climax, so naturally it would make for a good starting point for the first DLC, assuming we are going to receive two DLC expansions of course. The main story gave a satisfying end to our character's adventure through Paldea, but left us with more questions than it did answers. Like, who is the mysterious disc Pokemon? How does it actually affect terrestrialization? What do all these strange symbols inscribed throughout Area Zero mean? Who is Heath? And how does he even relate to our current crop of characters? These are just a few of the many questions left to answer after the end credits roll. And getting an explanation to at least some of these within being able to explore deeper zones of Area Zero would excite a lot of fans. These new areas would also likely lead us to encounter the legendary beasts that were depicted in the Scarlet and Violet books as well as having the possibilities of encountering new Paradox Pokemon. One storyline I really like the idea of would be our characters using the time traveling device at the base of Area Zero to go back in time and join Heath on his first expedition. This would allow us as players to encounter the third legendary as he did and maybe even give us some ways to alter the current timeline, where we end up saving Truro and Sada from their tragic end to make Arvin a happy boy once again. Doing this of course would then inevitably cause some catastrophic event in the overworld of Paldea. That would lead on to a larger finale for a second DLC in the northeastern area of Paldea, where the remaining story would unfold. And where was that, did you say? Yes, the northeastern area of Paldea. If you visit this area in game, it's blocked off unlike any other area of the map. A little like how Area Zero was blocked off before you unlocked certain parts of your story to access it later on in your playthrough. And because of this, many players assume this area, when unlocked, will be the location of one of the DLC expansions. To further support these theories, we know Paldea is based off Spain. And what country joins to the northern eastern border of Spain? Yes, France. And what region was France based off? That's right, Kalos. Yes, it's widely speculated that Southern Kalos or an area between Paldea and Kalos that joins the two regions will likely be the location of one of the DLCs as well. And this would make sense, not only due to how weirdly it's sectioned off, but to the many tie-ins fans have made to Area Zero and Kalos region on a whole. Let's hypothetically say, if we were to cause a time travel incident in Area Zero, like we already mentioned, this could have a knock-on effect to this unexplored area leading to Kalos. That would be the initial link, which could tie into the story about AZ and the ultimate weapon, which has a lot of similarities to things we find in Area Zero. We know the ultimate weapon that AZ famously used was made of a strange crystal substance. Could this crystal substance be made up of terror crystals? I mean, is it even too obvious for us to say AZ stands for Area Zero? That's a whole link in itself and one many fans and content creators have speculated about for months. The other connection is how Floet spawns rapidly in Area Zero, linking back to AZ's Floet, and once it had harnessed the power of its ultimate weapon, it gains new powers almost like it was potentially a Paradox Pokemon. Zygarde is another Pokemon with speculated links to Area Zero and of course Kalos. For starters, the whole Zygarde story never really got fully explained and this could be its origin story. The scales of Zygarde are extremely similar to the shapes making up the sphere at the bottom of Area Zero. Not to mention all of the symbols on every Terra hat that appears when terrestrialization happens. So you might expect some tie-ins there also. And not to mention Mega Evolutions. There are even references in some Paradox Pokemon's Pokedex entries about them looking like their Mega counterparts. 
And where did we first get introduced to Mega Pokemon? Yes, Kalos. The region right next to Paldea. With how many links there seem to be between the two regions and their geographical locations, it feels like an inevitable place for us to visit with the introduction of a new DLC. What we will get once we get to this area is another story altogether and how many links or references will be made to Kalos is also questionable. But I feel there is enough for us to point firmly at Kalos to join the Paldea party. These of course are just a lot of speculations and nothing has been announced just yet in regards to any DLC coming to Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. But it's always fun to look at the evidence we have from past stories and try and link them to what we could potentially get in a new expansion. I would love to hear your thoughts on what you expect us to see in these new DLCs and what would be your one big wish if we got an expansion to the Paldea region. If you've enjoyed this video, please leave a like. It really helps the channel and subscribe for more Pokemon content. Thanks for tuning in and until next time, take care. Bye bye.